Okay, I had a few questions about um, like how I got into RT school and the process. So there's a few schools here in Washington that I applied to and none of them required an interview, but these um, questions were asked like when we got into the program and like they just wanted to know about us. And then the other questions that I have are from actual like ultrasound program interviews. I got a nursing school interview and another program, but I just forget. Um, so I'll just go through the questions and then I'll go through the prereqs that I took and the grades that I got. So um, first question, what prompted you to apply to this program? Describe your most recent job and job responsibilities. Have you ever worked or volunteered in a healthcare setting? Um, how do you see yourself working under pressure in unpleasant hospital situations like blood, smells, being around critically ill patients? Um, each quarter, our lab requires students to practice on each other or work together. Are you willing to be the patient for your fellow students? Um, students must show professionalism and courtesy in the classroom and clinical sites. What does professionalism mean to you? Will you need to work while attending this program? If so, how many hours and how many days? What challenges do you foresee completing a two-year program like studying, family responsibilities, work, etc.? And tell us about a recent problem you had with a manager or coworker and tell me how you handled it. So those were um, most of the questions I was asked. And then as for prerequisites, I took a bunch. I had like 108 credits, I think, from community college before I actually applied to these programs. So um, the main ones that were pretty common on um, with the three schools were ANP1, ANP2, either general um, psychology or lifespan psychology, intro to statistics, um, intro to chemistry. Two of the schools required microbiology, but I did not take it yet, but they did 
have it as a co-requisite where you can take it while you're in the program, which would have been really difficult if I had to do that. Um, you need to do an English research and persuasive writing class, and then I think like 10 to 15 credits in humanities. Um, and then my other school required medical terminology and a computer class. So the grades I got were, I'll start with general bio because I had to take that um, before a &P, so I got a B. And I also took all these classes while working full time. It took me about two and a half years too, so. Um, English, I got an A. Intro to communication, I got a B plus. Medical terminology, I got an A minus. A and P one, I got a B. A and P two, I got a C plus. Um, lifespan psychology, I got a B. Physics is was like a co-requisite. You didn't have to take it, but you got extra points. I got a B plus. Um, what's that? I took stats, I got an A. And then intro to chemistry got an A. And then my computer class also got an A. So um, my overall GPA was pretty bad. It was like a 3.2. But um, my GPA that I applied with, like my science GPA was maybe a 3.4, 3.45, something like that. So I didn't have the best grades, but I still got into um, four out of the five programs I applied to. Okay, I forgot to add this part. My program did have waiting lists. They had about 10 or 15 students in the email with everyone that got accepted um, to attend the orientation just in case someone like opted out last minute because that has happened before apparently a bunch of times. And so they just wanna make sure that they have all the spots filled. So we did have a waiting list and about five people dropped before class started and five people from the waiting list got in which was nice for them and orientation went well it was on zoom of course so um, they just went over like the handbook clinical handbook and expectations what books we needed for our first quarter and we had two second year students that were there to answer questions and whatnot and my first week of school went well. It was mostly like going over the syllabus. We had a few um, like syllabus quizzes. And my lab was once a week, my first quarter. And my first lab was on a Tuesday and we just did assessments. Um, the first half of the lab, we went in and listened to different mannequins. Lung sounds, there were um, maybe five or six different ones where you can hear normal broad sounds wheezing crackles rails whatever else um, and then second half we had to perform a patient assessment on a patient and on a mannequin and it was really weird because i've never done a skills check off before in school so yeah but rt school is really hard for me but i did pass fall and winter with pretty good grades I would say and um it just depends on the person you know and how many hours you can I'm working two jobs I married I have church and other responsibilities and I've been doing well in school so far but it is really hard and I think I should make a different video on that in the future um yeah, because all these programs are so different, like nursing, respiratory, radiology, ultrasound, and I don't think there's that many RT videos on YouTube, like compared to nursing for sure, but it is really hard for me.